All right, so Tim Taranto is with us over in the West. Tim, great to have you on AFL 360. Thanks for having me, boys. Have you volunteered for forward line duty? <laughs> yeah, I might spend a little bit of time down there tomorrow, uh, a bit of time in the midfield too, but we've got some young guys coming in which can fill the void too, hopefully. Has, has it been unsettling at all this week, Tim, with all that's swirled around Toby Green? Oh, maybe slightly. Uh, I think the club's done a pretty good job at, you know, trying to kind of keep it to the side. I know the media's been, you know, it's been talked about a lot in the media and everyone's friends and family's been kind of talking about Toby Green this, Toby Green that, but, you know, the club's done a good job just to keep us focused on this week and um, kind of just brush it away as much as possible. Tim, I want to delve a little bit deeper into your own role. Uh, I saw you firsthand, you kick four goals against uh, against Richmond at... at uh, at Marvel Stadium. Is that something that you've worked on over the summer or worked on over years now to actually play forward? And, and you've said you're going to play forward. What's the, in your perfect world, what's the majority forward versus the, I suppose, the, the time you spend in the midfield? Is it 50-50 like we see a lot of the, the good midfielders and forwards play or is it a little bit more forward tomorrow night? Uh, I think through my juniors, I've played kind of that 60-40, 60% mid, 40% forward. Um, I haven't done a lot of work on it at all, to be honest. I just kind of got thrown there the other week and played a few played a few games there now, here and there. And um, I don't mind the challenge. I don't mind the, the change up in role either. So, yeah, probably that 60-40 is where I see myself at my best. And another player last week who, who, who probably didn't hit the scoreboard as much as they would have liked, but is a, a key, uh, key part to your forward line is uh, Jesse Hogan. What have you seen of his game? He's going to be his 100th game this week. Uh, he's obviously been a little bit maligned, played at a few different clubs now. He must be, you must be absolutely wrapped with the way he's clunking the ball up in the forward line. Yeah, he's just offered something different um, for us this year and it's just so good to see Jesse um, hitting his straps at the right time, playing finals footy and, and just being really good uh, for us as a, as a target inside 52. Um, we're just so happy to see how he's progressed this year and, you know, he's had, a, had some tough moments over the years, but to, to come back on the way he does and... Just a great people's person as well and always looking to, you know, play that selfless role as well. So we love playing with Jesse and, you know, 100 games this week's so a credit to him to, to fight back and, and to earn his spot in a, in a good team and play finals footy. It's tantalising from the outside, Jeremy Cameron, uh, against you for the first time in a do-or-die final. What do you think of the prospect? Yeah, it's going to be weird. Um, I don't know how he'll be feeling, probably a little bit nervous, but... Um, no, it'll be good to, uh, to to play against Jeremy, um, hopefully get the win and, you know, give it right to him. I'm pretty sure there'll be some by-play, won't there? Oh, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> what you, going over to Perth, Tim, it, it's uh, obviously, well, it's, it's probably the safest place in, in Australia at the moment in terms of COVID, but is it tantalising the fact that you're going to be playing in front of a big crowd? Like, you, you played in front of 10,000 people in Launceston last week, but this week there could be... 40, 50,000 people there. It really is an exciting prospect. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, I know a lot of the boys are really keen, especially the young fellas, uh, to play in front of a crowd. We haven't you know, played in too many crowds the last couple of years because of COVID. So, no, nah, it's, it's a really good opportunity as well and you know, keen to hear the crowd noise, whether it's for or against us. And you've been on the road now, mate, for, for 11 weeks. It's been, um, obviously, Sid the Sydney teams have been the most affected through I've the season. Vic Queensland, Vic Taz, WA. You, 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 Island Brothers. Your platinum <laughs> frequent flyer at the moment. <laughs> the end of last week's game, it just looked like everyone was mentally exhausted and just absolutely physically out on their feet. Has it taken a toll on you being on the road for so long? Um, yeah, no doubt last week. We probably didn't play how we wanted to in that second half. And, you know, the Swans are a really good running team and probably ran us off our legs, uh, especially late. So that was a uh, disappointing finish. You know, we got the win, which is the main thing. But it's probably just more the style of play that uh, fatigued us. Um, you, I know the boys are still up and about. And everyone's actually pulled up pretty well. Um, so maybe it does have an effect. But, you know, you wouldn't know it at the moment. The boys are just so excited to play. Um, young fellas are just going really well and um, the energy is really good still. So I don't think it's going to affect us much. It's a, it's a big final. We'll be able to get up for it. Good on you, Tim. Good of you to join us and the best of luck tomorrow night. Cheers, boys. Thanks for having me. Tim Taranto from the Giants. Big role to play, doesn't he? Big, big role. Big, big shoes to fill too. Mm.